Hello everyone again. I just wanted to do a very quick test on this inverter. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name. So I've been running it for almost a year now uh, for free, so touch wood. But I just wanted to see uh, what it's actually capable of. So here it says actual power is 6,000 watts with a peak of 12,000. Um, it seems to be running absolutely everything that I've been throwing at it. But just to do a little test, I've got a couple of devices running on it already. I've also got my um, hybrid EV car charger connected, plus a um, a heater that I use for the winter every now and then when I'm doing something in here. Um, so at the moment, it's showing around 450 watts being pulled through from the shunt. There is no sun at all right now. Um, this is the draw from each battery. Um, it says 450 here. And it shows roughly about 470 there, so 20 watt difference to what it actually displays on the model to what we're actually pulling. So what we can do first is we can enable the car charger, which is actually driven by that little device. So if I click it, you might have heard the relay there uh, turning on, and you should be able to see this pull more power takes a couple of seconds for it to kick in. Voltage should drop as well as soon as that starts coming in. So I can see the inverter has already reacted to 3.7 kilowatts. I do also have um, three batteries capable of pulling roughly about 10 kilowatts. Uh, so there we go, 3.4 uh, kilowatts. Here it says 3.7. So right now we're at about 250 watts if my calculations are correct. Um, the inverter is actually surprisingly really quiet. Uh, the, the fans are barely kicking in, very, very quiet. I've also, since my, the last video, I've installed a consumer unit in here. So we'll just connect it through. The voltage at 3.7 kilowatts hasn't really changed. 227, it says 235 here, um, which is really, really good. Uh, so at the moment, we are still running really quiet. It says that the inverter is roughly about 80% capacity so i've got the heater that i can turn on right now let's turn it on to the first setting which i think uses about 1100 watts so that's turned on we've gone up to 4.9 briefly when it gets closer to the five and a half thousand it does beep um so at the moment we're using five kilowatts Five kilowatts and here it says 4.7 what now is dropped down to 4.8 I should have actually had the laptop slightly closer to to this let me see if I can move it to here cool that's perfect okay roughly about 200 watt 300 almost actually now somewhere around there okay so what I'll do is I'll turn on the level 2 which gives it the full power so that's around 1.6 kilowatt heater let's see how much it beeps oh there you go you can hear it beeping 6.2 kilowatts 6 kilowatt on the inverter question is how long can it sustain it for five point nine so that's five point seven bit of an annoying beep although the fans aren't really on at all which is very impressive voltage seems to be at around 226 5.8 kilowatts on here and 5.6 kilowatts here i've never really tested it for a longer period of time oh the beeping has momentarily gone. I'm not sure if the power turned off for a split second or not. I don't think so. I didn't see any any dimming. It's currently running at about 46 degrees. 45. I have roughly about 52 minutes worth of battery left if I were to be using 5.8 kilowatts. But the inverter is holding up really well. I've got 35 millimeter cables. All around which are i mean it's not really been running long at all but they are cool as anything there's no temperature difference on these at all so 
yeah, 5.8, 5.6. I don't really have anything else that I can chuck in at it. Um, fridge is currently turned on. Uh, no, it's off. Um, so yeah, 5.8 kilowatts. And here it's running 5.6 almost with no issues whatsoever. It does say here that it is under 120% load. So yeah, for, for the value of £200, I think I paid £240 off eBay. It's it's respectable. My next upgrade will definitely be a Victron MultiPlus. Um, but at the moment, I mean, the, the fan from the heater is significantly louder than the fan from the inverter. This is barely noticeable. I'm not sure if I were to chug the mic on slightly closer, you might be able to hear. Very, very impressed. No beeping anymore. I'm assuming it's sort of settled with the load. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. That was just a very quick video just to demonstrate if this inverter can actually pull six kilowatts, which uh, it seems like it pretty much can. Thank you very much. Bye bye.